Arriving at Liverpool Street Station today are General Sir Bernard Freiburg and Lady Freiburg. They go by train to the Royal Albert Docks, where the SS Ruahini will take them back to New Zealand. And here comes Mr Jordan, New Zealand's High Commissioner, to see them off. And the Kiwi rugby team is on hand too. This is a happy send-off for our new Governor-General. With the Kiwis performing their haka for the occasion, this corner of the station becomes a little piece of New Zealand. For the General and Lady Freiburg, it's goodbye England. Soon we'll be saying welcome home. At Papakura, units of our J-Force, soon to embark for Japan, are on parade. Taking the salute is Brigadier A.B. Williams, and with him is the American Minister, Mr. Avra M. Warren. This is a ceremonial parade at which two New Zealanders receive American decorations for distinguished service overseas. The Reverend Paul C.S. Sergo, Chaplain, 2nd NZEF, receives the United States Silver Star for bravery. To Sergeant George James Black, who won the Military Medal in 1942, goes the United States Bronze Star. In their model flat at the Koai Intermediate School, these girls are learning mothercraft, something important these days when population means much to New Zealand. The babies like it, for the girls have had lots of practice on celluloid dolls. In this training, now being given in many of our schools, girls learn all the angles on homemaking, and some give up the idea of a career in favour of marriage and a home. To the Waikato Farm School being held in the Claudeland showgrounds come young farmers from all over the Dominion. This school is something new for farmers. It's a scheme with possibilities. They fill their own palliasses, but making their own beds doesn't mean any lying in when the morning gong goes. The dining room is one place that's rushed. Catering for these lads is a big job. They specialise in producing food and they know what to do with it when they get it on the table. Now down to some more serious work. It's Sheep Week and this is a demonstration of crutching that emphasises the importance of correct holds and keeping their equipment in good order. Next class is on pedigree sheep. Here the points to look for in a Romney are explained and they learn why this type is favoured for its wool production. Now for a demonstration of working a sheep dog, and there's plenty to learn for both dog and farmer. The well-trained dog, well handled, yards and drives the sheep without upsetting either man or sheep. Next week at the school will be Cattle Week. For a fortnight, these young farmers get instruction and advice from experts. A real opportunity for the man on the land. In the grey morning light of Wellington Harbour, the sailing ship Palmyre is being made ready for another long voyage across the Pacific. The tugs are alongside and lines are made fast for them to tow the Palmyre out into the stream. She sailed throughout the war between New Zealand and the west coast ports of America, braving mines and submarines, taking wool and tallow, and returning with valuable lend-lease cargoes in her hold. The tugs pull away. The Palmyre, an all-steel ship, was built for a finish line in 1905 for the phosphate trade. But in 1941, she was declared a prize of war and became a New Zealand vessel. 
The crew begin preparations for clearing harbour. The capstan is used to hoist the heavy sail. And she is underway, manned by young seamen keen to learn the mariner's trade in this, one of the only deep sea sailing ships still in active service. Out into the open sea, now cleared of enemy raiders, and she will sail freely before the strong trade winds until her long voyage ends.